mind. Okay? So, Jesus lays this out. I'm breaking this down. Glory to God. Now, bronze is a picture of judgment because God is showing that what the enemy has done, the poison that's in man, God is going to be the one that brings the final judgment. In other words, God has the final say-so, not the serpent. The serpent doesn't have the final say-so. The venom doesn't have the final say-so. Sin and its results doesn't have the, the final say-so. God does. And he demonstrates that because that serpent would be what? Bronze, which is what? The judgment. He's going to judge. Those who have been bitten, the venom will be removed and they will be whole again. This is what the Holy Spirit showed me. You go to Genesis chapter 3. I'll show you this quickly, guys. Genesis chapter 3. After they eat from the fruit that they were not supposed to eat from, it says what? I'm going to bring it up here. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Do you guys see that? Among the trees. Now, if you look this up in the Hebrew, you're going to find out that that word among the trees, I'm going to drop it down here, is this word here, tavek. Tavek. And tavek literally means in the midst of. In the midst. So, Adam and his wife, after they disobeyed God, they immediately went away from God's presence. They tried to. And they went where? In the midst of the trees. They tried to hide behind the trees. They tried to hide in the midst of the trees. And where do we see Jesus at the cross? He's where? On the tree. The place where Adam and his wife were trying to hide from God among the midst of the trees, Jesus Christ, the last Adam, the divine son of God, would be in the midst of the tree to bring reconciliation so that man would no longer have to hide from God among the trees like Adam, but instead, because of his finished work, man would be reconciled and have a right to the presence of God again.